contracts. You're going to meet a few of these. Are we allowed to have touch any more than this? I think we can, I suppose. <laughs> This is the old orchard. And here's some apple trees. Dirty old scabby apple. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> okay, it's fresh from the tree. So there's a certain fresh from the tree apple taste to it, but it's very bitter. I will persist with this. Try this. This probably might be a, a cooking apple. Let's find out. Hmm. Okay, it's not as bitter as this one. Nice little one. Let's pick this one. Mmm! This is the apple. Oh, that's lovely. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> Shall we go and say hi to the sheep? <laughs> Literally will eat anything. Now let's go deep into the forest. The place is full of white thorns. And these are white thorns. Oh, the people call them hawthorns. White flowers, lovely red berries. You can eat these, they taste of nothing. Um, Shall we go down into the forest? Ooh. So these are all oak trees. They will be thinned out, so you can see the big fat one there will be kept, and all the little ones will be thinned out eventually. So this is forest management, and there it is, the beautiful, beautiful oak tree. Mmm, 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 delicious. Into the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. To these mature trees, are part of the original hedgerow, and look at that. Isn't that amazing? At some point, I'll probably just take Linda and park her in the middle of the forest and be like a hermit living on the, the guy living on the sailing boat that's parked in the middle of the forest. <laughs> what can I say about the beautiful nettle plant? By the way, did you know it was entirely edible? <laughs> Ah, 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 oh, 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 <laughs> it stings. Bad now. The beautiful willow tree, of course. Um, very good for dentistry. It has uh, antiseptic qualities. <laughs> and I ate the nettle. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, that's better. That's better. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. The neighbors. An actual farm with farmland. Oh, blackberries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, delicious. Fungus, moss, everything growing. And underneath that, millions of bugs. This is the mighty ash tree. Um, the wood of which is used to make the hurling stick uh, used in the game, the Gaelic game, Irish game of hurling. <coughs> Not edible. So back in the old times, there used to be ponds here. Now the ponds are probably still here, but they're overgrown. 
<laughs> okay, the pond might be just a bit of a, a dip now. Yes, so there's the long pond. There's the river. Yes. Down there. And then we have the main pond, which is dry as well. It's all dried out. I hope it's dried out and I'm not making a terrible mistake. Ooh, it's very moist. Ooh, it's a bog. Yes, there is a bog. Very squishy. Do you feel that? Ugh. Oh God, very muddy. Uh, we're on a little island, a little grove of trees on the island. Down there is the pond, and there's the pond all the way around. And here's the little bridge that took you over the pond. Full flow, the pond cascades down into the next pond, and there's five ponds. Goes around the tree, comes down here, and here is the sluice that takes you out and down to the next pond. Clearly there was a plan to put concrete pipes down into the ditch. This is the final pond, and all of these are wildlife ponds to fit in with the forest and the wildlife. And we're back now into the field. But there's a little secret about this place I haven't pointed out. And I want to show you what that is now. Because as we make our way towards out into the open field, um, you get to see the house. Ooh, quite a bit of shade here. Let's go past this enormous tree. There's the house, way up there. And here's the little secret. There's a lake. No, 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 no. There's the boat. And ladies and gentlemen, you are standing on the shores of Loch Ool, also pronounced as Loch Owl if you're English, Loch Ool if you're Irish. And this is Europe's second largest spring lake. All the water in here is spring fed. Tasty spring water. <laughs> Think of the amount of money you're spending on spring water, and I've got a whole lake. Mm. Okay, it tastes a little bit of fish. It's raining, and that one is Robert. Say hi, Robert. Hi, Robert. Well done. Look at that beautiful rain. Oh, Ireland. Ireland's beautiful rain. This is my mother. And this is my father. And they're the people who pay for this channel. Um, and this is their garden. This is the garden. Um, possibly there, or possibly there. And I have to do the digging. You have to do the digging. <laughs> no, but Tannis now is going to do all the hard work because he's back home and he's in the outside. My, 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 he is my, my, an outside. Um, my, uh, what? Can we not you get, are an outside. <laughs> can we not get Lach Lachlan to do the digging? Well, sir, Lachlan, Lachlan right? is three. Anyway, that's um. the job for today, boys.
that's my cathedral. All of our towers are the same size, around 30 of your meters. The foundations are quite shallow, so this tower is leaning a little bit now. But don't worry, I'm sure it will stay up long enough for you to reach the top. On you go! <laughs> so, so much to climb. Totally fine. And I have nothing to fear. But to fear itself. Oh, it's getting tighter. The town of Kilkenny. Kill is a hill, and Kenny is Canus. This is the, high, the hill of Canus. Ah, oh, let's get off. Oh, God. The top of the tower. Kilkenny Castle. Oh great, I've got a leak in the car. This is a traditional boat made in Markham. Takes you out to the Zyder Zee by the Eselmere. One boat shed. Another boat shed. Another boat shed. And some boats. Proper boats. This little arrangement here is something I'd like to have for Linda. Um, the lights on the rigging. I would like a little net and a bowsprit. It's pretty cool. If you want your super yacht made, come to Markham. They're replacing this bridge in four weeks. This is the last time we can cross over this bridge. Markham for the last time. Well, till I come and visit. And that's Markham over there. Let's drive in Holland. Now, operation get this car home. What we need to do is we need to pass a test. So one of the problems that we have here is you can see 
There are holes in the exhaust. Let's improvise. from the Hook of Holland over to Harwich in the United Kingdom. Oh, so nice. It's got a shower, it's got soap, it's got a me, um, toilet, all the mod cons. And as we come around here, we have bunk bed, a mirror, and a ladder to get out of the ferry. Or Maybe the ladder is to get up a bunk and a TV. And you can watch from the bed. Oh, look at my feet. Well, the car has been sitting around for a year, so uh, it didn't pass its MOT or its safety certificate on a, a number of things. All of them sound like it's to do with it being sat around and doing nothing. So they're going to do the repairs, uh, call me tomorrow. So it means now for me, I have to get a train back to London and a train back here to pick up the car a little bit later in the week. Oh look, I've got a new one. New rubbers and everything. Yeah, so the car is so old that the guys had to sort of rebuild my exhaust. They were going to replace the entire thing, but they couldn't get the middle section, so they cut it out and welded it into a new back section. So this means that the car now passes emissions, passes all the tests, and is now roadworthy. And um, the other thing they did, which is really cool, is they gave me a bill of about £600, and they ended up with a bill of about 500 because they actually saved money um, by um, not needing as many parts as they thought they were going to need. So uh, these guys who... Motor Tech in Harwich, if you know or live in the area or around the area, Motor Tech, yeah, I highly recommend these guys. Anyway, it's ooh, he's, oh, my seat is so far back. That guy must have been really tall. Right, now I have to get tax done now that I have my MOT. There they are, by the way. Um, Deglaze the brakes, uh, rear exhaust, fittings, track rod. That's what needed to be done, track rod adjuster. Oh my god, the car is so quiet. <laughs> Isn't it? Still got the south how. There was so much noise coming out of the back. And look at it now. Oh yeah. Anyway, this is Harwich. We're off back to London. Wow, it'll just, it'll just ignite the city, it'll be fantastic. It's been a long time, 14 years. Uh, 